The Family Health and Fitness Fair is coming up tomorrow from 10 to 3 at the RIT Inn and Conference Center. I'm pleased to welcome back to the program the producer and owner, Linda McQueen. Great to have you back in studio. Along with State Assembly members Marjorie Burns, Mark Johns, and Peter Lawrence. Great to have you all here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Linda, let's start with you. This is such an important event. Uh, what can people get from this year's Health and Fitness Fair? Well, this year we're not only filling the RIT in uh, with exhibitors and uh, educational programs, screenings, and uh, fitness demonstrations. Mm -hmm. We have buses in the parking lot for mammograms and for blood donation. Marjorie, let's turn to you along yes. those lines. Uh, people can go not only to benefit their own health, but really take a step to help other people as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, organ, do organ donation, blood donation, yes. it's a great way for people to make a difference in the lives of other people as well, right? Absolutely. Those are two features of this year. One is, yeah, the blood donor, and there'll be people right on site, and also people can uh, participate in the organ donor registry mm -hmm. so that through both of those manners not only can they come and get information to help themselves and their families with their own personal health but also help in the health of our other citizens. Mark, uh, there'll be breast cancer screening as well. Bottom line here, this is about uh, being able to go and in one place get all the information you're looking for, and get screening information as well, right? Uh, yes, I would encourage everybody to come out tomorrow between uh, 10 and 3. It's free, you don't need to make an appointment, and you can find out exactly where you are on the scales and get a lot of uh, health tests that are going to hopefully help you to, you know, live a longer life. Peter, uh, you know, we kid uh, about uh, politics and partisan politics. <laughs> this is one of those things where you set all that aside. This is for everybody, Democrat or Republican. It's about taking charge of your own health, right? Oh, absolutely, Mark, absolutely. We, 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 the more they come, the merrier for us, the better for us, absolutely. the better for the health fair. We want everybody to participate in this. It is a good program. It only serves the the individual's right and only serves their own good. So yes, we encourage everybody, regardless of their party affiliation. Linda, a final thought from you. Uh, y you talk about uh, not only the screening opportunities and the opportunity to, to set up for, or sign up for organ donation and give blood, but there's an educational component here as well. Uh, talk about what people can learn, what they can take away with them to help improve their own health each day. Uh, well, one important talk we have is Talk Saves Lives, and that's about suicide prevention. Mm -hmm. We also have Breast Cancer Update. This is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, mm -hmm. and this is our 30th year, and we have more screenings and educational programs than we ever had before. Well, we're grateful for all you do to put this on, and of course, uh, your support as well. Uh, at the state level. Thank you for being here and encouraging our viewers to take a positive step with their health. Thank you. Thank you. All. Thank you all right, so you heard them. Tomorrow, 10 to 3, RIT and Conference Center. If you want to learn more, if you missed any of our conversation, the website is rochesterhealthfair.com. We'll have that link on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com. <laughs>